Hello and welcome. Today we're doing another question from Leak Code 75, a great playlist if you are interview prepping. And I have the entire playlist linked down below with all the video explanations we've been doing if you do want to check it out. So what is this question? It's equal row and column pair. Given a zero indexed n by n integer matrix grid, return the number of pairs such that row and column are equal. A row and column pair is considered equal if they contain the same elements in the same order, i.e. if they are in equal array. So example one, we have three, two, one as a row, one, seven, six as a row, and two, seven, seven as a row. And our columns are three, one, two, two, seven, seven, and one, six, seven. So we want to find the pairs of rows and columns that are equal. And what are our equal pairs? Well, we don't have any three, two, ones as columns. We don't have any one, seven, six as a column. We have a one, six, seven, but it's out of order. So that's not going to work. And two, seven, seven. Do we have any columns of that? We do, we have one column of 277 and we also have a row of 277. So that's one pair we can make and that is our output. Example two, we have the following grid. I'm gonna write this out so it's easier to read. We have three, one, two, two as a row and we have one, four, four, five. We have a two, four, two, two. And we have another two, four, two, two. So instead of writing it again, I'm just gonna keep count of all the times I've seen all these rows. So I've seen three, one, two, two once. I've seen one, four, four, five once and I've seen two, four, two, two twice. Now, as I go through the columns, all I'm going to do is check if that column exists in this dictionary of counts that we have going on over here and see how many pairs I can make. So going through the columns, right? Three, one, two, two. Does this exist in our dictionary? It does. We have three, one, two, two, and we have one of that. So we can make one pair. So if I were to keep track of the pairs, I would have one pair so far. My next column is one, four, four, four. It's not in here. So no pairs are made. Then I have two, four, two, two. I do have two, four, two, two, and I have two of those. So we can actually make two pairs and I'm going to add two more to our total pair. So now we have a total of three. Then we can cross two, five, two, two. We don't have that in here. So no other pair can be formed. And we've made a total of three pairs, just like we were expecting. And this is actually how we want to solve this as well. We just want to take a row and a column as a whole. There's no point in breaking up the individual cells. We only want to check if an entire row equals an entire column. So we can keep them together as an entire entity, keep track of all the rows we've seen, add it to a dictionary, keep counts of that. Then as we go through all of our columns, see if that entire column exists as a key in our dictionary to count up the number of pairs that we have. So let's go ahead and code this up and then do a complete walkthrough to really see how this plays out. To code this up, what do we want to do? We first want to go through every single row that we have and keep count of it in a dictionary. So in order to do this, I'm going to import from collections a default dictionary. So from collections, import default dict. And all a default dictionary is, is a regular dictionary with default values already present. So we don't need to check if a key is there. If not, define it first and then increment its counts. We can just directly increment its counts. They're already valued to be zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is define my default dictionary. It's going to be rows. I'm going to call this default dict of int. And now I'm going to loop through all the rows in my grid. So for row in grid. Now I can't take my entire row, the list form of it, and add it as a key to my dictionary. This is because a row is not immutable, right? If we have a list, we can just change its values on any given index that we want. But that's not going to work as a key for a dictionary because dictionaries are hashed based on their key. They don't want to be mutable, which is why we can only use strings or tuples as keys for dictionaries, which is why we're going to take our list and just convert it to a tuple. So rows of a tuple of row. So rows is my dictionary. And as a key, I'm going to assign it the tuple version of my list row. I'm just going to add a count for that. I'm going to increment this by one. Once I loop through this, I have all my counts done for my rows. Now I just want to figure out my columns. So for columns, I'm going to loop through n. This is an n by n grid. So let's also define what n is over here. It's just going to be the length of the grid. So for column in range n, I want to make an entire column going down like this. So right now I'm looping through from zero to n, not inclusive. I want to get every single row at the column that I want. So my column is going to equal grid of r column for r in range n. Now in Python, this is something called list comprehension. If you're not familiar with it, it's just a shorthand version of writing our for loops and making lists. Basically, we're looping through from one to n for columns. So zero 
2n not inclusive, right? We're looping through this way. But for all of these column values, we also need to get that grid value from every single row. That's what we're doing here. We're looping through from zero to n for our row. So we're going row by row, but we're keeping the columns constant. So every time we do this, we get a new column. And now that we have our column, we also want to actually convert this to a tuple. So now I have a column tuple going vertically. I want to check if it's in my dictionary. So if column in rows, I'm going to increment the pairs that I can make by one. So in order to do that, I'm also going to initialize pairs to be zero up here. Now, if the column is in rows, I'm going to add to pairs. So pairs plus equals the value of the counts at that dictionary. So rows of column. For example, if we come across 2422 as a tuple in our column, we're going to see if it exists in our dictionary of rows. It does. Now we're going to add the value of this tuple, so 2, to the number of pairs that we can make. Now once we exit out of here, all we have to do is return pairs. So we're going to return pairs. And that is it. So let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now, before leaving, we're going to do a quick walkthrough with an example just to see how our code is going to run line by line and really visualize this all together. For our code walkthrough, we're going to be using example one. So I have my grid input right over here. It looks like this, like this over here. And going through this line by line, the first thing we do is initialize our n. So n is going to be the length of grid, which is three. Pairs is going to be zero. And I'm initializing rows to be a default dictionary. Now, looping through for every single row in our grid, the first one we come across is 3, 2, 1. This is our row. We're converting it to a tuple, adding it as a key to rows, and increasing the count of that key by 1. By default, it is 0 right now. This is a default dictionary, so it goes to 1 for this tuple. So we have 3, 2, 1 with a count of 1. Now we go back in this for loop. The next row we're on is 1, 7, 6, doing the same thing again. We have 1, 7, 6 as a tuple. Increasing that count by 1 puts us at a total of 1. Going back in this row, we have 2, 7, 7. That as a tuple is this, and we have a value of 1. Now we are out of this for loop. There are no more rows for us to iterate over. So we come into this for loop over here. For column in range n. So column starts off with 0. We're looping through from 0 to 3, not inclusive. The first thing we're going to do is define a column. Now this column is going to be a tuple of grid of R column for R in range N. So what we do is basically loop through R in range N. So 0, 1, 2 are our R values. And for every single 0, 1, 2, we're using a column which is 0. So what do we have at 0, 0? What do we have at 1, 0? And what do we have at 2, 0? That's 3, 1, 2. So right now we have a list of 3, 1, and 2. We convert that into a tuple. And this is our column, right? We set our column equal to this tuple. Now, if column in rows, is this in our dictionary? Is 3, 1, 2 there? It's not. So we exit out of this if and go back into our for loop. So now we are at 1 over here. And we do the same thing again. We keep our column constant. It's 1. And we loop through for rows in range 0 to 3. So what do we have at 0, 1, at 1, 1, and 2, 1? That's 2, 7, 7. We make a tuple of that and assign that to be column. Now we want to check if column in rows. That is true, right? 2, 7, 7 is in our dictionary rows. So we're going to add to pairs the number of counts we have at column. So 2, 7, we have one count there. We can make one pair. Going back in this for loop. And last time, now column is 2, doing the same thing. We go 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2. We have 1, 6, 7 as our column. And this is not in our dictionary. So we don't go in this if condition. And all we do now, since we're out of the for loops, is return pairs. We were able to make one pair. And that is exactly what we were expecting. That is going to be our output. So talking about space and time complexity. For space, we are storing every single grid, right? All the rows in a dictionary. So this is going to be n by n, considering our grid is an n by n integer matrix. And for a time, we do loop through once to get all of our rows, then again to get all of our columns. So this is still order of n times n, if there are n times n elements in our grid. Now we just went ahead and solved equal row and column pairs. We did a walkthrough with example one over here. But if you have any questions, of course, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.